The Woo Ninja's Learn Dash Quiz Import Export is the perfect add-on to efficiently create and manage quizzes within your Learn Dash LMS course. In this tutorial, we will guide you through the configuration and function of the add-on. Let's get started. Firstly, install and activate the Learn Dash Quiz Import Export add-on. Great! Now you can find the Quiz Import Export heading under the Learn Dash drop-down menu. This heading will take you to the add-on settings. But before we do this, let's take a look at how we can export quizzes already within your Learn Dash course content. To do so, enter the Quizzes subheading of your Learn Dash LMS. Here you will now find options to export each of your quizzes as either XLS or XLSX formats. Once downloaded, you can easily import them into another site using this add-on. We will get to that in a moment. You also have the ability to export multiple quizzes at one time by simply selecting the quizzes and then exporting them with the bulk options drop-down. Now let's take a look at how to import quizzes. Enter the Quiz Import Export subheading located in the Learn Dash drop-down and go to the Import Quiz tab. Here, search for the quiz you would like to import. The add-on will only support Microsoft Excel, XLS or XLSX files. Once you have selected the file, click Next. This will take you to a quiz page where you can choose the appropriate course, lesson or topic and certificate you'd like to associate with the quiz you're importing. Once you've selected your preferences, hit Next. Now you have the opportunity to attach existing questions to quizzes. This drop-down will display a list of your existing quizzes in case you'd like to add these to the quiz you're importing. Finally, to complete the import, click Upload Quizzes. If you'd like to modify the plugin settings, you can do so by entering into the Quiz Import Export settings under the main Learn Dash menu. Apply Quiz Settings From. If you would like to set specific settings to be added to your newly imported quizzes, you can do so in this section. Select any of the quizzes in your course to be the prototype for future quiz imports. Alternatively, leave this field blank if you want to import quizzes with their default settings. Minimum role to import quizzes. Next, you have the option to select what type of user role can access this plugin. You need to specify which roles you want to authorise to import and export quizzes. Publish quiz on export, which, if enabled, will publish quizzes as they are imported. You can, of course, disable this option to keep the quizzes status pending. Remove existing questions, giving you the option to remove previously imported questions to avoid doubling up on the same quiz questions. Add existing questions, adding an additional step to the import process. If enabled, a drop-down menu will appear after the quiz import file upload, offering a list of all unassociated questions that you can then choose to associate with the newly imported quiz. Fantastic! Now you know how to use the add-on, let's take a look at how to utilise the available templates to import and export your question types. To note, this add-on does support latex text to include math equations in your LMS quizzes. This will require the integration of the MathChax Latex plugin. See the blogs available on the Woo Ninjas website to expand on these specifics. When it comes to standard LearnDash question types, there is a downloadable template available in the plugins folder. You can fill this in to create quick and easy quizzes to import into your LMS. The template looks like this and includes quiz title, quiz content, question type. You can refer to the documentation for this add-on to find the relevant short code for each question type. Let's say I want to make this question a fill in the blank, I will use the short code close answer. Category, title. To note, the add-on will not allow two of the same question titles within a single quiz. Total points, used to determine the total points earned for each question if answered correctly. All question types can be left blank if preferred, except for essay questions, where you will be required to assign a point value. Different points for each answer. If you want all questions to receive a standard number of points per correct answer, then enter no into this column. However, if you'd like to set varying points for each answer, enter yes. Question text. This is how the question will be worded within the quiz. Answer type. LearnDash gives you the option to incorporate media into particular question types. 
If you want your answer to be with an image, audio or video, then type into this column HTML. If you'd like the answer to be text only, type text. Answer and point columns. These columns are utilised for multiple option quiz questions and should be set according to the maximum number of answers present within your particular quiz import. For example, if you have a maximum of five answers for quiz questions, you will create five answer columns from answer one to answer five. If the different points for each answer option is enabled, these answer columns should be set alongside columns specifying the corresponding points awarded from point one to point five. Answer column. This column will set the correct answer for the question. However, it can vary according to the particular question type. You can follow the answer column guide within the add-on documentation for each specific question type. Total answer. Here you need to identify the maximum number of answers available for the question. Message with the correct answer. Here you can add a congratulatory message if answered correctly. Message for incorrect answer. Add a message if a question is answered incorrectly or an explanation for complex questions. Hint. If you'd like to give your students an option to view a hint, you can enter this here. Material. Add supporting material for the quiz in either text or an HTML. Certificate awarded for is the section where you set a required percentage for a certificate to be awarded. Passing percentage. Set a required percentage for a student to pass the quiz. Course, lesson, topic and certificate, post ID to assign the quiz with. And finally, shared question. This column is for optional use where the shared quiz question setting is enabled. Here you can reuse a single question in multiple quizzes. To do so, set to one. To note, if you are also working with quiz questions from the LearnDash Advanced Quizzes add-on, that is no problem. Version 3.4 of this add-on supports advanced quizzes. You will, however, need to download a different quiz template, which can be found in the appropriate plugin folder. For further information about working with this template or anything we've been through in this tutorial, you can refer back to the plugins documentation available on the Woo Ninjas website. As you can see, by integrating the LearnDash Quiz Import Export add-on into your e-learning site, you will save valuable time and effort within your daily quiz management. Thanks for joining us.